Hello, I'm TMN, and welcome to this episode of Coffee Break. Before we begin, let's spin the wheel of coffee flavors and see which one we land on today. So it seems today we will be drinking French vanilla flavor by Timothy's brand. It's pretty good flavor. Anyways, we are on episode six today. I realize it has been a long time since my last episode of Coffee Break. About three months probably at this point. And you as the audience are probably thinking something along the lines of, boy, I am mad at TMN right now. He needs to either deliver the best video he's ever made on this series so far, or he has to be punished somehow. And I don't know, I think today it might be a little mixture of both, because today I am going to be eating some... Wait for it. Build the tension. Limburger cheese. Now, I have come as prepared as I possibly can to indulge in this delicious treat. I have got a cutting board, I've got a little knife, I've even got some nice little disposable gloves because if I know anything about bad smelling cheese, it's that you probably don't want to get it all over your greasy hands because they'll just be smelling later. Also, I've heard apparently that a uh, A&W root beer goes with it. Let's just get right to it. Now I think the first thing I should probably review is the smell, because apparently Limburger is infamously bad, and uh, who knows, I might smell it and be like, you know what, not as bad as I was expecting. Or maybe it will be. It looks to be open now, but I'm not getting wafted with a pungent flavor yet, but I haven't exactly put my nose right up to it yet, so. Well, there it is, in all of its yellow glory. Well, hmm. definitely has a smell. Um, I wouldn't say that it's making me go cross-eyed and make a funny face like you'd see in some old black and white comedy skit, but uh, I don't know, I might have to get one of my family members in here to get their perspective. The serving size says it was like one cube. Uh, it does seem to be split into these little lines as you'll see so i might just cut down let's just cut right down the edge here because you know all right we've got a little piece right there let's just cut this oh let's just cut that in half that seems fair right Honestly, my gag reflexes are kind of starting to hit in right now. Not because it tastes bad. Honestly, it kind of just tastes like brie. It doesn't really have much flavor. I think it's just the idea that what I'm eating is infamously supposed to have a bad smell and an aroma that eating it just seems wrong. It's kind of like eating bugs. But now that I've kind of filled my palate with the flavor of Limburg. I'm gonna try my best to swallow it and then take a swig of old A&W and see what that does. All right, going down, it has a very strong flavor. Going down the gullet. Very, uh, hmm, almost bitter, I'd say. Kind of a bitter flavor. It's like a very, uh, like a much stronger flavor of brie. Brie sharp. And there's the A and W. Well, that's probably about it. Uh, I mean, what else can I do in this? You know, I said I was gonna try Limburger. I tried Limburger. Thanks for watching this episode of Coffee Break. 
Uh, hopefully it was enjoyable. Tune in for the next time I post a Coffee Break episode, which at this rate, who knows when that'll be. But tune in anyway, whenever that is. And until next time, thanks for watching. No, I'm going to try Limburger. It smells not very good, but it's not so bad that I'm running in the opposite direction, which is the impression I got from listening to people. Okay, here he goes. Actually, it's really good. It gets stronger as you go. like. Like when you first bite into it, it's really mild, and then the more you chew it, the more, um, but it kind of has a nutty flavor. I like it. I'm very tasty.